What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to set up the email plugin for Strapi and we're going to use SendGrid as the email delivery service provider. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, this is SendGrid's administration panel. I already added a new account. We need to do two things here. First, we need to go to settings and we need to go to sender authentication. And here we need to verify a single sender. I already verified this sender address and this is the address that I'm going to use as the from address and as the reply to address. The single sender verification is really easy to do. We need to go here and click on create new sender. And we need to complete these fields from name, from email address, reply to here. This is another email address or the same that we added here in the from field. And we need to add company address, city, state, country, zip code, and a an nickname. And that's pretty much it. The platform is going to send us an email and we're going to need to click on a link to finish the verification. And that's it. The next step is creating an API key. So here we need to go again to settings and here we need to go to API keys. And here we need to click on create API key. And here we have different options. We have full access, restricted access or billing access. I'm going to leave it with full access selected. And here we're going to add a name for the API key. This is the name for my API, Strapi API key. And I'm going to click here on create and view. Okay, the API key has been created. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to use it to set up the SendGrid provider in Strapi. This is the Strapi project that we've been working on. I'm going to leave the link here so you can understand how you can set it up. And we need to install the email plugin for Strapi. So this is npm install. And in this case, we're going to use SendGrid as the provider. So the name of the plugin is Strapi Provider Email SendGrid. And we need to keep this dependency. So this is dash dash save. Okay, now we need to set up the plugin. We need to add a new file here within the config folder. And this file will be plugins. .js. And here we need to add module dot exports. And here we're going to receive the environment variables in a function, actually a narrow function like this. And here we can set up our email plugin. So this is email. And here we need to set up what is going to be our provider. So provider. And this is SendGrid in our case. Then we need to add some settings for the provider. So this is provider options. And here we need to set up the API key. And in this case, we're going to use an environment variable. And in order to access the API key value, we need to use this function like this. And, and we need to pass the name of the environment variable. So we're going to call it SendGrid API key. And here we need to add some other settings such as the from address and the reply to address. So this is settings. And this is default from. And here we are going to use the email address that we already authorized here in the sender authentication page. So I'm going to grab this address that is already verified. And I'm going to paste it here. And the reply to address will be the same. So this is default reply to. And I'm going to copy the same email address. And that's it for the plugin configuration. Okay, now I'm going to add a new route with a custom API endpoint so that we can test that we can send emails from our application. I'm going to add a new route. Here I need to go to API and I need to go to 
team config routes. Okay, here I'm going to add a new route. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make a few changes so that we can create our controller to send an email. So this will be email and this will be email.index. This is the name of the controller that we need to create. So I'm going to add it here. So this will be email.js and I'm going to create the index method within here. So this is module.exports and this will be equal to, and here I'm going to add the index method like this. It's going to be an async arrow function where I receive the context of the application. And here I'm going to use the email plugin and I'm going to send an email using the email that I already verified in SendGrid for the plugin. So this will be await. And this is strapi dot, dot plugins. In this case, we're going to use the email plugin. So this is email. And in order to access the service, we need to call services dot email and we want to send an email. So this will be dot send. And here we need to specify the destination address. This is two and the email. And in our case is reviews pragmatic at gmail.com. So I'm going to grab this from here and I'm going to paste it here. The from address will be the same. So this will be from. The reply to address will be the same reply to and I'm going to add a subject here for our email so this is a subject and this will be testing send grid and strapi the text of the email or the body of the email is going to do the text and this will be send grid email and after sending the email we're going to return some message, ctx.send, and this will be email sent. Okay, now let's run the server and let's see how it works. So this is npm start. Okay, now let's go to Postman and let's call this email endpoint that we added here within our routes. This is HTTP, localhost, the port for Strapi is the default one, 1337, and this is email. Let's call this endpoint. Okay, we get our 403 because we need to make this endpoint public. So let's go to the Strapi administration panel. We need to go to roles and permissions. We need to go to public. And here we need to enable the index endpoint. So we're going to make this endpoint public. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on save. Now let's go back to Postman and let's call this endpoint again. Okay, now if we call this endpoint again, we're gonna get a 200, a successful response. And if we go to our email account, we're gonna see that email here. Okay, and make sure that you also check your spam folder. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.